Welcome guys, how's it going? It's Thomas Fairley here for with Life in Tech. Uh, have you guys used Arc Search on your iPhones? Um, I know I've been using the Arc browser on my Mac OS for quite, quite a bit of time here. Um, however, those cool features of the AI in Arc Search is, in, is not on the Mac OS. Uh, yeah, let's do, let's let's take a look here. Let's pull up our iPhone so I can show you what it looks like. So I have mine set as my default browser on my iPhone. So it's right here on the bottom right, Arc. So if I open this up, uh, you could do a quick search. Let's say we take a look at uh, Apple events 2024, and we do a search. And it's going to it's going to answer questions, right? It's not a regular uh, browser search or Google search. Uh, it comes up with specific information and it gives you. So it, it, in this case, uh, it says WWDC is in 2024, right? June 10th, May 7th, we have another Apple event. So it's finding that information online and answering your questions rather than just giving you uh, links to go through. Um, and here's more information about the WWDC 2024, right? Um, here's the May 7th event. Look, it gives you some other videos, but uh, tells you more about the May 7th event, uh, expectations, and then you have the deeper dive, which are the actual links, right? The sources for everything. So uh, this is really cool. Uh, I've been wanting Arc Browser for the desktop to to come out with this um, already, honestly. Um, on, the, on the phone, it makes more sense because you're always looking for a quick answer, right? Uh, when you're out and about. Uh, at the computer, maybe not so much. But uh, today I found out a way or workaround for now to get the same exact experience on your, on your Mac. Um, so let's, let's, let's dive into, uh, looking at this, right? So, uh, of course you need arc installed on your Mac, right? So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to go through a couple of settings to get this going. Right. All right. So, uh, let's get rid of this iPhone. Let's, uh, oh, uh, sorry about the noise here. It looks like uh, my lawnmower guy decided to to come out right now. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna pull up our our browser, right? You know, we have we have, we have Arc, right? What we want what we're gonna want to do is go into Arc settings, right? So in order to do that, we're going to go to this URL right here. I'll put it on the screen for a minute, right? So it's Arc colon slash slash settings slash search engines, right? So let me go ahead and do that. Arc colon slash slash. Settings. Slash search. Engine. Uh, so right here on this left-hand side, you see there's a, a search engine button or uh, if Sorry, I'm going to close this window this uh... All moment, guys a little distracting. Sorry about that uh, Okay, so this is the URL. It is settings with an S. Um, I think I went to settings search yet. Didn't, I didn't do it right before. Um, okay. So this is, this is the URL. We come into this page. We're in the search engine section. We scroll down a little bit to the site search. So we're going to add another site search down here. So what this go, what this is going to do is when we put a certain shortcut in the browser itself will be able to search in that same way. All right. So we'll, we'll show you that more in a second. So we're going to come up to this add button right here. We're going to click add and we have this pop up here, right? 
So we'll go ahead, uh, I'll throw some settings on the screen for a second right here. Right, so we're gonna put uh, the name, we're just gonna name it Arc Search. This is just so you could see it. Um, the shortcut I'm personally gonna use is at search. Um, that's gonna be the, the shortcut that I'm gonna type in to, to get to that, right? So I, I am going to copy and paste that URL line, and then I'm gonna pass, paste it in this URL down here, right? So it's the same thing on the screen, HTTPS colon slash slash search underscore search.arc.net. So go ahead and type what you see on the screen here. In there, uh, go ahead and hit add. Right, so now we'll see it right here, this arc search. Now again, what this is saying is if I type this at search in the bar, it's going to uh, prompt anything after that to search like it would on our arch search on the phone, right? So that is it. That is the simple setup, right? So now if I open up a new window, I have my search bar, right? And if I go at search, tab, right? Yeah, tab after. So now you can see arc search, which was the, what we named it. It's there in a bubble. And now anything I tap, right? What did we do before? Apple events 2024. And I hit search. Browsing for you and bam. Apple events 2024, May 7th. May 10th to 14th, September 24th, October 24th. We're actually getting more information than we did last time. Uh, spring event, WWCC, more information about it. iPhone 16 launch, expected in September. Um, and here's the deeper dive. So here's all the, the source links right here, right? Um, again, I'll pull up... Uh, both of those things, both of those informations. So the first one is uh, their URL to get to the settings, right? Um, and then once we're in those settings, just to recap, once we're in those settings, we're gonna scroll down to search site, click the add button, add that second set of information we have up on the screen, right? Uh, and then we just open a new window or we go to the, the URL browser, we type our shortcut and we hit tab at the end. Don't forget that. And now we could start typing whatever we wanted to, to search for. Uh, Apple, Apple events 2024. Well, well, Apple Vision Pro. Well, let's see what it gives us for Apple Vision Pro. Now it's going to give us so you know give us some images of the, the Apple Vision Pro on the top. Apple's first spatial computer, 3D camera, interaction, spatial audio, design, displays, controls, goes into features, goes into pricing, user experiences, and then the deeper dive on the actual sources it used for that. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure Arc is going to build this into their browser and make it easy later on. But um, I came across this uh, not too long ago and I was excited about it uh, because I use it that way so much on my phone. Um, and not that I want it as my default option, but it's nice to have the option there to use it when uh, all you need is an answer to a question. All right, guys, um, if you thought that was helpful, hit subscribe down below. Uh, again, Thomas for Life for Tech, and we'll catch you next time.